Hi, my name is Tania N. Davis. Welcome to this instructional activity video mini bite or tiny size video brought to you by the Georgia Department of Education. We're going to be talking about taking informed action today. So it's time for us to get involved. How can we do that? We're going to take notice of things that are happening around us within our community. We're talking about inquiry and having students that are curious, that are inquisitive, that as active and growing and evolving citizens know that they have rights and responsibilities as a citizen. And those rights and responsibilities do involve uh, taking action and being involved, as well as making good choices that help to support and sustain a positive and healthy school or neighborhood-based community. We also want students that listen to understand, that ask questions in a sense that they are pushing back when necessary and they are challenging the status quo. They're wondering why something is done the way it is done, or they maybe even challenge why something has to be done the same way all the time. Maybe it is time for a change and we need to have some changes. So inquiry and uh, being involved in actively. So again, going back to citizenship and civics education, although civics does not always have to be a part of it, but it does talk about the right, rights and responsibilities of yourself as a citizen within your community. So thinking about uh, something needs to be done, how can I take action to do something? So for getting started, I'm going to be observant and take notice of any problems, problems that I might see within my community. Perhaps I notice that there's a lot of trash on the playground outside and I want to do something about that. Some students have even taken notice of people within their community that, that are older and they have created shoe boxes that are filled with toothpaste or socks or toothbrushes or soap or things of that nature. If you have a homeless population as well, taking action for those members of the community. So getting started would be identifying the problem and then thinking about who within my community or my neighborhood or my school community could I engage or seek assistance from? Who could support me? Who would be able to help me take my ideas to a higher level? So that might be polling people, might be polling my, my fellow classmates, it might be polling teachers, it might be my mom taking a group of us to, uh, to a meeting, it might be writing a letter to the editor of a newspaper or writing a letter to a member um, of the elected official in government, something of that nature. And then following through with it. And then also I just wanted to share a few slides to show people who did take notice of problems or identify problems within their community, their surroundings, the world at large. And then the actions that they took. You can see the, the new products that were created based on the needs that were identified. And then having your students think back to who do I know who's done something of this nature? I want you to return to your Georgia standards of excellence in the content that you've taught already and thinking about those people who looked around their community and identified a problem and then worked to do something about it. So for example, thinking back to the historical figures that we've studied, we know that Juliet Gordon Lowe saw a need for young girls within the community to have an outlet, to be actively engaged and involved in the outdoors, and to be able to do the same things that um, young boys were doing. So she came home and created the Girl Guides or the Girl Scouts that it later became after being inspired by the Girl, the, excuse me, the Boy Scouts as well as the Girl Guides, which she saw in London. Then we have Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., who, as we know, was very actively involved in civil rights, taking a stand and participating and being willing to question the status quo and push back and organizing a community, being involved in his community, seeing what others were in need of and how they could all support one another to move things forward and make change. You have someone like Jackie Robinson who saw that African-American men were only able to play in um, the minor leagues, depending on like what state or what country they were, they were located in, and or the Negro Leagues and wanting to move or evolve the sports and show athleticism and capabilities um, and the need for equity in the major leagues and who took a, a stand and made a change, made a difference to our world at large as well as to our Georgia community. And then, of course, his neighboring community. 
So tying it all into things that we have already learned is also a great way to inspire students as well and to remind them of the things that they've learned this year too. So just a quick review, we are being curious, we are tying in civics education and citizenship, taking informed action, being involved in our community, and then leading to becoming change makers. You can also tie this back into informational processing skill number three, which is identifying issues and or problems and finding alternative solutions. Thank you for joining me for this mini video. I hope that it gave you some ideas of ways that you can get your students involved or just get them thinking about being actively involved citizens and how they can work to make changes as well. Be well and thank you again for sharing this time with me.